right now we're going to go over the physical setup of the quad stick on the PlayStation 4. Um, so we're in the quad stick manager program right now, so there is one really uh, specific setting we have to make sure is enabled in order for us to set it up on PS4. The next segment of this video we're going to go over what we exactly have to do to, to, to plug it in to the PS4 in order for it to work. Uh, so right now we're just do the programming, so just one little thing. So we have to make sure under our miscellaneous tab here, un under other functions, down here it says enable boot in PS4 mode. We have to make sure that is checked. Um, and we also have to make sure that enable USB-A host mode is checked. Um, this must be on in order for us to plug in that PS4 controller. That's why that USB-A host mode has to be also checked. Um, and here, enable boot in PS4 mode, that just enables the quad stick to be a PS4 controller. Because by default, it's actually a PS3 controller, so we have to, have to check this to make sure it can be compatible with a PS4. Otherwise, it'll have problems and it'll disconnect every uh, seven minutes. So uh, now we're going to go over the, the physical setup on the device. Okay, so right now we're going to go over the setup for the PS4 with the quad stick. So, first most important thing here is right back here in the USB-A port here, we actually have a PS4 controller plugged in. So, that's connected right here, so this is just a PS4 controller, and this cord here from the PS4 controller is plugged in to the back of the quad stick. So, we need that in order for it to um, authenticate every time it boots up um, and get the and be able to connect to the PS4 otherwise it will disconnect um, every seven minutes okay and then uh, the quad stick cord here the cord from the back of the quad stick um, just plugs directly into the PlayStation uh, or the PS4 um, you don't need any converter or anything um, it should just go directly from there into the PS4 as long as you just have that controller plugged in the back Okay, so now we're going to go over the settings you have to do on your PS4 in order for it to work. So, um, this can either be used with, um, done with a quad stick or with just a USB controller plugged into the device. Um, so, this will make it so that the quad stick won't um, disconnect every seven minutes. So, these settings are necessary if you want your game to play, gameplay to be smooth. So, we're going to go over to power save settings and settings on the PS4. And then down at the bottom down here, that set time until controllers turns off, we want that to be set to do not turn off. Um, otherwise that'll cause problems with the quad stick if we don't do that. So now we're going to actually go to the controller settings here. That would just be under devices. So first we want to um, go and go to controllers and we want to make sure that the communication method is set to USB because that's the only way the quad stick will work. We want to make sure um, that there's it's not set to Bluetooth otherwise that'll make that quad stick disconnect every seven, seven minutes because it'll be looking for that Bluetooth controller. And then after that we actually have to go to our Bluetooth devices and we want to make sure all our Bluetooth um, DualShock controllers are disconnected. The ones that were um, paired via Bluetooth. So here we're going to click on the controller, we're going to click options, and then we're going to forget the device. And then it'll forget that device. Um, once again we want to do that for all of them, so here now there's another one that's on Bluetooth, so we're going to forget that one as well. Um, so those are the settings you're going to need to set on your quad stick. After that, unplug your quad stick if you had it plugged in, reset your PS4 with a button on the PS4, and then you can plug your quad stick back in with the uh, um, DualShock controller and you should be good to go. Okay, so right now we're going to go over the Xbox One setup with that Brooks converter. So that's that PS3 to Xbox One converter piece um, that you'll see later. Uh, that's this setup now. So in the Quadsic Manager program here, uh, so in the previous video we showed it with PS4, right now we're going to do Xbox One. So here where it says enable boot in PS4 mode, we want to make sure that's actually not checked um, because the converter we have is actually PS3 
to Xbox One. So if we did boot in PS4 mode, that converter would have problems. So we want to make sure enable boot in PS4 mode is is not checked here. Um, and that's that's all we have to um, make sure is is in this in the settings here. So then once that's changed, we want to save those preferences. Preferences. So we'd click here, and it would save that to the quad stick. And then we're ready for the physical setup, and that's going to be the next video. Okay, so now we're just going to go over the plug-in. It's pretty straightforward. So this is the Brooks converter. Um, that's the one we're going to be using here um, because this is actually the simplest one to use with the egg to do um, the quad stick to Xbox One uh, because we don't have to program it or anything. It's just plug and play. So all we have to do is take the USB, plug it into the back of the Brooks converter here, and then we just plug this end into the Xbox. So then you just do where you, if you had a USB controller with the Xbox, the same place you'd plug that in. So this this just plugs in directly to the Xbox, and that can, should convert all your controls to Xbox One controls. Um, so like I said, that's a pretty simple setup with the Xbox One with the, just this Brooks converter.